time, hell yes, we're gonna take your AR-15, your AK-47. Are you sure about that? It's a good place. We are in the middle of it, right up on the mountain. If this son of a bitch wants to bitch about his cows over here and shoot at me, well, it's our country. All right, what's up, everybody? <clears throat> um, today we are going to be talking about cheap gear. Cheap gear. Where to get it, what you should get cheap, and why to consider it. Um... First, we're going to go over what is okay to get cheap of. Because there's some things I don't think you should get cheap gear of. Some things it's worth to have the... You don't want to skimp out on it. I guess that would be the best way to put it. Uh, number one, I would say, is an IFAC. You don't want to skip out on that shit. Because you only use it when your life depends on it. So don't skip, don't cheap out on your IFAC, okay? If there's one thing not to cheap out on, it's your IFAC. Uh, number two, obviously your firearm. You don't want to go cheap on your firearm. Now, there are affordable options that are great. Um, I got a lot of PSAs. I'm not going to lie, I got three PSAs. In fact, all my ARs are PSAs now that I'm thinking about it. Um, not all my rifles are PSAs, but all my AR-15s are. So... There are ways to go effectively cheap on a rifle also, where you're not spending, you know, $2,500 on a Naveski and you still have a fighting rifle. But your IFAC, I would not cheap out on an IFAC at all. <clears throat> um, water sources, you can go cheap, but get new. Don't get a used canteen. Just don't, because somebody used it as a spitter. You don't want that, okay? You do. Get a, get a canteen in. Get a, get a used canteen. And the first time you s take a big old gulp of Copenhagen flavored water, you're going to wish you'd listen to me. So you can get used water sources, but make sure they're new. Okay? <clears throat> um, now, why go cheap? Why not just buy brand new? Well, you can save a lot. This, this goes without saying, obviously, right? Cheap. Like, obviously, you're going to save money, right? But you can still get high quality gear. People think cheap and they're thinking Condor. And I don't recommend Condor for almost anything. Except for like a dump pouch. Uh, I have a Condor dump pouch. That's about the only thing I've had. I've had Condor plate carriers back when I was a teenager. Uh, they're junk. Don't buy them. Don't. Condor's junk. Um, I'm also going to show you some examples today of some expensive gear that turned out to be fucking junk real quick. But yeah, there are so many options out there for getting affordable gear that is high quality all right now let's talk about places to get affordable gear if you guys would like me to do updates or postings for when i find good deals on gear or find something maybe people be interested on ebay or something that i'm myself not interested just put it down in the comments and i'll uh that's something i can definitely start doing thanks guys um, i'm going to try to go in order of what i think the most effective option is or the, the, the least the best option to the absolute best option. Um, so the first one I'll, I'll, I'll uh, mention is surplus stores. Surplus stores can be great. And their pricing is all over the place. Some surplus stores are going to charge you $3 for a new canteen. And $100 for a freaking BDU top. The other surplus competitor store down the road is going to charge you 30 bucks for the BDU top and 10 bucks for a new canteen. It makes no sense, but that's the way it is. Um, they're also hit and miss on how good the gear is. But yeah, surplus stores are definitely a good option. You can find some rare stuff at surplus stores. Um, you can also get some... How should I say this? Spicier items at surplus stores. I'm just going to leave it at that. Take for that what you will. Uh, if you've been to a surplus store 
near a freaking military base, you might know what I'm talking about. So yeah, surplus stores are great. I always love going into surplus stores. They're just cool. You can also find retro items if you're into that and stuff. Um, next one I'll mention is Tax Swap. So Tax Swap is a good service. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Tax Swap is, it is a website specifically. Imagine eBay's, but it is only for Minuteman shit. It is for guns, night vision, gear, etc. You can put other shit on there, but nobody does. Tax Swap is for tactical swapping okay tax swaps good some negative things with tax swap number one cost money i think it's a dollar for the membership and they verify you got to send a picture I mean, maybe i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure you got to send a picture of your driver's license when you sign up for it a lot of this is to combat scammers here's the other problem they still have a lot of scammers uh they have a facebook group like dedicated to fighting scammers on tax swap tax swaps come a long way i'll give it that it has came a long way um now you can search by state so if you're really looking for local pickup i've done stuff where i got it shipped directly to me and you I, i've never had any issues on tax swap uh, with getting scammed but there's plenty of people who have uh tip and trick for not getting scammed only use paypal only use PayPal goods and services. Nothing else. If they don't want you to use PayPal goods and services, don't buy it. Don't. Because that's the only way you're, you're, you're kind of protected. If it ain't PayPal's goods and services, I'm not buying it. But yeah, tax swaps okay. Uh, they still get scammed. They still get scammed. And like I said, the websites came a long way. When I first joined it, you couldn't narrow by state. You couldn't do none of that. So the websites came a long way. Uh, number two is uh, Facebook groups. The good thing with the Facebook groups is there's one for everything. And I mean everything. I mean probably almost all of them because this kind, this stuff's kind of like a hobby for me too. But uh, like there's groups for just shit that's Ranger Green. There's groups for only sold in the North America area, but it's Russian gear. So people in North America who own Russian gear who are looking to sell it. Um, there's stuff groups for just BDU stuff. There's group for just like uh, soft unit stuff if you're you know wanting to role play as a soft dude or whatever, well, any of that nerdy shit. But yeah, um, there is whatever niche you're looking for for your gear. If you're looking for a niche, whatever you're looking for, you can find it on Facebook. Now with Facebook, you have the same problem you have a tax swap. It has a lot of scammers. A lot. Uh, it can be difficult. It doesn't need to be difficult, but it can be difficult to tell somebody's a scammer. Now, a good rule of thumb if you're buying from a Facebook group is just ask for vouchers. That's it. Just ask for vouchers. Before you purchase anything, just be like, hey, man, have you ever done any uh, purchases online before? Just send me some pictures of the of the chats so I know that you're legit. Or ask for vouchers on the group. Just be like, hey, I'm trying to buy so-and-so from yada yada. Um, are they legit? Are they legit dude? Most people are fine with that. And if they're not fine with that, they're probably trying to scam you. That's the, really the only negative with the Facebook. Like it has, besides my number one option, it has the largest selection of gear. And maybe even sometimes larger and a little bit easier to navigate than my first selection also. Uh, and that brings me to my first selection. The one that has, in my opinion, the largest selection, the best prices, and uh, the best consumer protection. And that is eBay. That's right, baby. eBay. eBay. eBay's number one. Uh, a lot of my gear I have gotten from eBay. I'll show you where I got some of this stuff, but uh, a lot of it, most of it was from eBay. Right here, these two things in front of me, my current assault pack and old G-Watt Blackhawk. Um, eBay pretty freaking cheap i think i got this for oh man no more than 45 bucks this the hydration carrier this camelback brand new with the um uh, oh what's the word i'm looking for uh oh anyways it keeps it warm i'm having a freaking brain fart i'm sorry guys but uh yeah brand new the wrapper's still on it it was under 20 bucks brand new uh, I have plenty of Camelbacks, but you never know. Uh, eBay is where I got this. This is a Neo Air Thermarest. 
This is a superb sleeping mat and it is small. It rolls up. Um, yeah, it has like a, the temperature rating for sleeping mats are weird. This one has like a, a five and a half, which is really good. So yeah, I got this sleeping mat off eBay. These things normally run like 200 or some odd dollars. I got this one for just a shade over 130. Uh, also got this off of eBay. Now this was brand new. You can get them off Amazon too, but you know, you're not going to find this at a, a lot of stores. But what this is, it is a battery powered um, air pump, tiny, right? That you can put into uh, your, your, your sleeping pad and blow it up. Is it good for Minuteman stuff and uh, whatnot? No, it's not. It's really not. But I'm going elk hunting here in October, so that's kind of why I got it. Hey guys, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I'm working on getting a lapel mic. I know my audio was kind of crap in the last video, but uh, yeah, I bought a lapel mic for an iPhone, and I'm not a communist. I have an Android, so yeah, there's that. But yeah, another good eBay find. So you can find quality gear for cheap. We've established that. Now, let's talk about some of the stuff you can find. Okay, well, I've already went over salt packs. Um, I'll give you an option for a rug. This one is actually not from any of the sites I've mentioned. Uh, it does kind of fall into the surplus realm. This is from Sportsman's Guide. I got this ruck from Sportsman's Guide. It is a, a British Army rucksack. I think it's 55 liters, maybe a little bigger. But yeah, this belonged to Gray. Uh, last for 7812. Uh, if you're in here, cool, nice to meet you. Don't know if that's actually your last four since you're British, but yeah. Not a bad size ruck, definitely bigger than an assault pack, but again, under 60 bucks. Also, uh, I've bought two ACU rucksacks. One of them was for $35, granite, and this is the frame, the pad, everything. The full rucksack, sustainment pouches, all of it. $35. Granite shipping was the same price, but still, I'm getting a rucksack for 70 bucks. Sure, it's ACU. Uh, I got it for two of my guys in my group. I got two of them. Um, the one he just recently dyed it green. It looks great. It looks great. It's a little more gray than green, but it looks good. The other one, I think I got it for under 100 still. It was about 45, uh, maybe pushing 50, but the shipping was similar, about 35 bucks in shipping. But yeah, um, rucksacks, you can find good rucksacks. You know, you're not going to get the pattern you want. That's one of the things. Like, uh, one of the rigs I got here, not in the pattern I like. Uh, not something useful in my area in the Midwest. Right? This, uh, I think it's AR1. Yeah. Um, not in the pattern I like. But I can use it. You know, it's a, it's a cool little split front rig. Uh, this was dirt cheap. It, I mean, you know, this is kind of a popular pattern, but this is an older school design. It's kind of like the LBE design, but it's missing the back panel. So there's that. Um, military gear is obviously always going to be cheap because there's a bunch of it. Like right now, you might have to do a little bit of Franken gear too is the other thing. Um, you might have to do a little bit of Franken gear. So like here, I got a tap system, but it didn't have a harness. Uh, it was about 30 bucks, but it doesn't have a harness. Now, I got plenty of shit laying around. So what I can do is... I can take a harness from something else, like this cry harness I got here, put it on here, use the back strap from something else, put a clip on here, and I've got a perfectly good tap system. But yeah, there's all types of options. Like I was just showing you, uh, this is another good option of Franken gear. So this was an ARO2 LBE vest that I've worn in some of my videos, but I took the back panel off and I made it essentially to a split front rig. It's a split front rig. I can do a video on this with a cry airframe that I got off of uh, Facebook. I didn't want to spend the money on just a cry chest rig that I'm not going to use. All I wanted was the harness from the chest rig. And eventually somebody popped up selling just the harness. So I snagged it. It was a little bit more than I would like to pay. It was like close to, it was about a hundred bucks, but still, still cheaper than buying the whole thing. And it gave me the harness for this. So yeah, there's that. Um, here's a good example of 
expensive gear that's shit really um i didn't pay a lot for this but it is expensive gear because this is only issued to like soft units that's it where the hell did the clip go oh it's right there sorry this is only why do i say it's only issued to soft units well it's the scar h rig um and there's only a few units that run scars and none of them are conventional units right so this is the first spear scar heavy rig right um this thing sucks it sucked it's brand new there's not an ounce of dirt on it and i only ran it a couple times hopefully you guys can see what i'm trying to show you and these stitches started splitting right here from running 308 mags. Now, I guess maybe you can make the argument it's for scar mags, not 308, but that's junk. And I, this is like 80 bucks, which I mean, for this rig is fairly cheap off eBay. People are paying a lot of money for these. But from a company like First Spear, and for the people they're making gear for, I would expect better quality out of it. Let me adjust you guys a little bit. I apologize. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, I think you're okay now. But yeah. I mean, this is a good example of, you know, high quality, expensive gear that is junk. I mean, for 80 bucks, I could have gotten, you know, two, a full tap system, two tap systems, the tap system and this, like, so expensive gear isn't always great, you know, or is there even what you need? Like how much money is it to build out a full, uh, a full spirit of systems, micro fight chest rig that's only going to hold three magazines for the price you're going to pay for that what else could you do you know you could do a lot uh some other things so let's go over uniforms oh man everything's falling down uniforms uh this i got from uncle sam but you can find these um the best place to get uniforms i think is surplus shops in my opinion uh you're gonna need to wash them because all surplus shops smell the same but yeah Surplus shops are a good option for uniforms. Also, eBay is not a bad option, but a lot of times it's just going to be reproduction uniforms or new uniforms, and they're not going to be the perfect price. Uh, and if you're looking for actual used uniforms, it can be a little difficult to find your size sometimes. But eBay is still a good option for uniforms. You can find whatever camo pattern you want. Uh, the other one is kind of snivel gear so waffle tops recently sportsman's guide had a sale and it was i believe under 60 bucks you got a waffle top a waffle bottom uh, a beanie and the waffle neck gator which i've never been that cold in my life to wear that stupid waffle neck gator i think it was for under 60 bucks you can find these waffle tops for dirt cheap another good place to check out surplus stores is the waffles um this one this is a cold weather, wet weather jacket. I think it's the parka. Yeah, cold weather parka. But I got this off eBay, 37 bucks. This is my most recent purchase, 37 bucks for a good wet weather top. And uh, this was issued by some dude named Ward. Uh, I had a squad leader who was named Ward. Now he thinks he's a Viking. If you're watching this, you're not a Viking, bud. You're uh, Bobby from... Bobby from Colorado, but yeah. So yeah, I mean, anything you want, you can find used. Um, here's one of the new, newer issued, when they stopped going from ponchos, the tarps. These are great. Absolute great. But yeah, it uh, you can save a lot of money by finding used gear, guys. Uh, it's not going to be the best, but it, you can find quality gear. I hope I'm making sense. Now, now I feel like I'm I'm getting a little, I'm kind of backtracking on myself. Uh, it can be the best. I think so. It can be. My goats are being psychopaths right now. But like, take the tap system for instance, or even a flick. Those are perfectly good options. Many many of battles have been fought by dudes in flicks and IOTVs. Our options are better than that out there. But if that's all you can afford, that will do the job. And there are good options out there. 
I mean, what are you sacrificing by using used gear? Well, I would say the biggest one you're probably sacrificing is your pride, because you probably don't. You probably think it's not the coolest. It's just it's not the it's not the YouTube, the Instagram Gucci gear. It's just I'm not gonna look that cool. You don't need to. You don't need to. No matter what anybody tells you on the internet about looking cool, you don't need to. You don't. You know what's cool? Not dying. You know what's really cool? Being an asset to your team. That's what's really cool. Like that, that's revolutionary, guys. That's revolutionary. Being an asset to your team. And uh, you're not going to be an asset by spending $300 on your plate care or $300 on your chest rig, saving up $700 for the newest rucksack when you could have spent, I don't know, 200 bucks, gotten all that stuff. And then with the rest of that money, you could have bought training food etc and then if you still want that stuff cool save up for it but it's not necessary and there are plenty of options out there that are cheap 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 yeah i'm not going to keep talking for the sake of talking i just wanted to do this video and show some of the examples of you know cheap gear that i found and kind of give you guys an example of where you can find this stuff all right, guys, um, I might do more videos in depth of, you know, just some of the cheap stuff I have. I also just collect this stuff. So if you've made it this far, please give me a like, a share, and a subscribe. Until next time, talk to you guys later. Bye.